Good morning, team. Welcome to day 21 of our 28 days of Airstream renovation. It is 5.45 in the morning and our floor guy is coming at 7.30. Goran worked his butt off yesterday getting all of this subfloor and stuff removed in the front along with the platform that was along the toilet. So I am coming in as the cleanup crew and getting everything prepped and ready for Alex when he gets here. I've got a little over an hour and a half, so more than enough time. And uh, I'm gonna get started. But if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. All right, let's get to day 21. So here's what Gorn was able to get finished. He ripped out all the subfloor there, over here, exposing the floor joists. Um, these were all water damaged, so we're just gonna put new subfloor in. And while I'm at it, I want to kind of show you what the C-channel looks like. So this area right here. So that right there is a C-channel. And that is very important if you are doing subfloor repairs and not doing like a full, you know, off the body, off the frame restoration with all new floors, which is not what we're doing. We didn't buy this Airstream so that we could rip all the floors out right now. I mean, perhaps in the future, but a lot of them are in okay shape. So if you're just doing some repairs, what you wanna do is remove the parts that need to be repaired, and then you need to clear out that C-channel. There's going to be wood from the subfloor in that C-channel. You need to free all of that wood, and then when you are cutting and fitting a new piece, you need to make sure that your new piece will go into that C-channel. There are bolts that you're going to have to cut around. You do not want to cut those bolts. Those bolts are securing the Airstream's shell to the frame. So you don't want to cut those if you're just doing a few little spot repairs. It's not hard to cut around them though. What our guy's been doing is just cutting a little half circle with uh, one of his cutting tools. And then as you're sliding the piece in, it just it goes right around those bolts. Is it like literally the best case scenario? No, of course not. The best case scenario is to lift the shell off and just replace all of the subfloors. But you know, this is from 1989. It's not in the worst shape. That's why we bought it. And we didn't want to do that. Um, it's a lot of money and we don't have the expertise to do it, nor do we want to. We have other things going on. We have a lot of things competing for our time. So instead we're doing the subfloor repair. And I hope that this video can help you if you have a similar problem because it's a lot cheaper. That's for sure. So as you can see right around here used to be a platform, but it was made out of particle board and it completely disintegrated over time because it had gotten wet. So we're hoping that our floor guy can also build us a little platform. And then we could probably just put the wood flooring over that. So that's just another thing I have to get all cleaned up for today. All right, I gotta get to work. Less filmy, more worky. I'm using our Kills Mold and Mildew Primer to seal up the floor around the toilet kind of dark, but you can see there's just like black and grossness. There was a lot of water that got onto this floor, understandably so, but also they did a crappy job of sealing it. So I am just going to put one coat, just a thin coat of this on the floor to help prevent future mold and mildew growth until we can do phase two, where we pull out the entire bathroom. So uh, yeah, super fun. Day two of Alex doing our flooring and all of the subfloor is repaired and he has gotten about half of the flooring in. He's gonna be coming back another day and finishing it up. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a floor in here. I'm really liking the way it's looking. So I intended on coming back from all of my errands and working on the Airstream for day 21, but that didn't happen. And I also didn't film an outro. Oh my gosh. Again, like I said in yesterday's video, it was a hectic few days and I was so burnt out and just the filming 
took a serious backseat to just life during those few days, so my apologies. But that's it for day 21. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified anytime we release a new video. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.